how to generate project ideas tell me how will you do it as a six sigma green belt tomorrow you are asked to generate project ideas within your department now tell me what will you do i will collect the customer complaint data very yeah. good customer complaint data fantastic you are talking about voice of you are talking about voice of customer isn't it so many complaints right but what is most important is what is most important is convert that into a measurable characteristic measurable metric for example number of complaints per week complaints per month every month the number of complaints you know is somewhere around 4 to 6 complaints are coming now it is a ct q right customer complaint or uh, no it is the you know voice of the customer is converted into a measurable characteristics done so that's one thing any other idea so refer to the customer data any other idea if i am there in your company if all of you are with me in the same company what will do i will call for a you know a meeting i'll call for a brainstorming discussion brainstorming so all the managers department heads can come and represent their problem a one hour meeting at the end of the meeting i will have hundreds of problems with me am i right because people know every minute they go through problem if you create such an opportunity i'm sure at least some will cry in the meeting isn't it to such a level so many problems they will have uh, so brainstorming whenever you are running out of ideas the immediate tool is brainstorm but make sure you call relevant people otherwise what will they will hijack the discussion and then take direction and the purpose will be lost so how to conduct the brainstorming and the certain rules and regulations you can add on maybe you can say 5 minutes per department 5 minutes per team and then now they can speak then the most important ones will automatically you know come up and then you can note it down so this is one again what is this again capturing the voice of the employees what is it called voice of business is it voice of business or can i still consider as voice of customer are your employees are also customer or not no. kind of customers kind of customer that means they are internal customers they are stakeholders yes. that they means yeah all of the all are stakeholders you know, i am also stakeholder of your company because some way i might use your product or you no know, i might also be a cost stakeholder so very broader term so you are all your employees are internal customer all of them are responsible for you no know, certain process they are process owners you call them process owner isn't it yeah they yes. may have certain problems like you know they are not getting uh, the required uh, materials or you no know, their outputs are uh, not that great all of them you know, uh, can also be a problem opportunities so your employees are internal customer generally but uh, i can also do a simple meeting where i will call you no know, the senior level uh, executives the department heads alone now they are all they are now you know business leaders now do you think they will also be uh, process owners no is it that they are not process owners but they will be you know the the, the uh, executive level leaders or mid level managers kind of thing department heads do you think they will also have some problem yes can you give me one example which the you know the department head will see it as a problem for example the production rate is low am i right production rate is low or the cycle time is too high or inventory levels are very high or the manpower shortage so these are all voice of business so voice of business means the voice of the leaders if you look at the voice of the leader they will be mostly connected to the efficiency of operation they will be mostly connected to the efficiency of operation but voice of customer will be connected to the effectiveness failures here it is no voice of business is is also a failure but not a failure related to effectiveness but failure related to efficiency the leaders always wants to know get things faster am i correct yes sir they always expect more from uh, by doing less 
so so their concerns should also be heard and that also deserves some healing keep your customers happy one side keep your business also happy other side so voice of customer is a tool when you use it you can get enormous you know uh, opportunities for improvement another thing is voice of business that can also give you uh, you know throw light on various opportunities for improvement and uh, and ultimately what is required is you must convert the voice of customer as well as voice of business into measurable metrics when you convert them into measurable metrics they are called ctqs and ctbs ctq means critical to quality ctb means critical to business and also cost of poor quality data might exist in your organization if you have the habit of recording it then that might be available for example all the rejections is it all the rejections and uh, the warranty claims and all those things are you no know, cost of poor quality data and uh, when when it, when it comes to cost of poor quality there are two types of cost of poor quality what are the types internal failure cost another one is external external failure cost what is the difference between internal failure cost and external failure cost external is internal is about uh, in this pro in the processor failure market failure if the failure is detected within the organization the cost associated is called what internal failure cost internal. or the failure is called internal failure and cost associated is internal failure cost suppose if the failure is detected outside the organization that is called external failure that's called external failure and the cost associated is external failure cost sometimes what happen you send the product and the customer end the product is rejected so what is this internal failure or external failure external external failure external failure, external failure. you have you have failed to detect the failure internally and as a result it, to, it the, reaches the customer yeah it is detected by the customer and the, your money is also lost your name is also lost so which is more dangerous external failure or internal failure external external, external. more dangerous right so if you have yeah. heard of these kind of you know cost of poor quality and wherever uh, you know you feel like cost of poor quality is going you know beyond uh, you know maybe in a huge margin then you know that can the, you can initiate projects to control that maybe rejections in certain areas and all those things so you you understood now there are three tools one is uh, voice of customer another one is voice of business and the third one is cost of poor quality and uh, also you can explore tools like brainstorming i i gave you an idea you call the people maybe separately and then the, um, all the other uh, process separate and you can allow them to represent the problem so these are all the ways you can generate ideas okay so so these are uh, called what the <clears throat> project ideas so this is this is what we you know we, we want you to uh, do very well as part of step number 1 number 1 generate project ideas now you have so many projects now tell me which project you will execute first inventory management management why inventory management why not other project so that is called project prioritization that is called what project, project prioritization. prioritization you should be able to you know write the projects in a proper order and whichever project appears in the top that can be you know uh, provided the resource provided the approval and that can uh, that can get implemented and now prioritization there are uh, tools what are the tools you learned under prioritization pareto and uh, matrix uh, diagram pareto is one thing another thing is prioritization matrix matrix which is a better tool in my opinion pareto prioritization matrix is a better tool no oh once again keep back okay so project prioritization matrix is a better tool why it is better and why not pareto you can you can use pareto also for prioritization but then you must you must know weighted pareto 
you must know weighted pareto because pareto works on you know you know one factor at a time only one factor it can handle and according to the factor according to you know the frequency of occurrence it will prioritize but generally project selection generally happens based on multiple criteria hope you agree with me isn't it yes sir i want to give preference to a project then a return on investment should be high then return on investment should be high and number 2 the effort i put in should be low how do i measure the effort required to complete a project the duration resource requirement isn't it and all those things will let me you know uh, understand the effort required and the risk associated if i run this project what is the amount of risk associated so there are three things you need to consider one is the impact the project can make the impact the project can make what kind of how do you measure the impact by using certain kpis kpis performance indicator so what are the kpis important to your organization what kpis are important generally there will be you no know, four types of kpi one is financial kpi one is financial kpi another one is customer kpi and third one is process kpi fourth one is creativity and innovation or you can call it learning and growth kpi so four types of kpis are very important for any any organization and uh, and uh, in order to you know uh, implement that a particular strategy is implemented in your company your organization will have preference on certain kpis those kpis should be considered for prioritization of project why the same kpi should be used then only you know there will be a goal alignment otherwise you might like to do a project the you may think that project is very important for you but organization might think that the project is not important for them you know why the the the, the goal of your project and goal the goal of the organization are not matching it has to match then only you know organization will support your project and will provide the resources so for that the kpis have to be picked up from the organization's priority so if a certain company may consider roi as the kpi am i right return on investment if you are if you want to do a project let's say you know the investment is 10 lakhs when i put 10 lakhs when will the company get it back if the company gets back the 10 lakhs on the same year then you know then uh, okay the return on investment is you know everything i am putting i am able to gain within one year that means 100% roi isn't it sometimes when i put the investment of 10 lakhs but the saving is 20 lakhs so return on investment is double so something like that so depending on the roi so roi can be one criteria and the duration of the project can be other criteria and then what else roi duration and then uh, the resource availability right and uh, the budget required for the project these are all the criteria once you have the criteria you can also assign weightage and now who will give the criteria organization has to give the criteria if the organization doesn't have criteria for project selection please understand your organization is not ready for the next level of performance organization no itself is not clear about their goals isn't it so the kpis should be available in the form of guidelines for project selection there will be a committee and the committee will have all these policy guideline and you know they will review it number one and now weightage also company will give now let us let us not go to a very complicated uh, discussion let us make it very simple imagine you want to admit your child in a school you want to admit your child in a school now there are no five different schools that exist in the nearby locality out of the five school you want to select one one single school for your child now tell me what wh what is the top management here who is the top management me only you and your wife isn't it yeah you are the top management and now what is your expect your requirement you want to see your child come up very well in the life isn't it yes so what is your goal what is your I, objective i want to select the suitable school 
correct no, no that is your no that's your uh, strategy okay uh, what is your goal maybe you know you want to see your uh, child as a professional doctor engineer or lawyer or you know some kind of uh, goal you have but the goal is a long term goal your child will go through you no know, education for about 15 to 20 years to really yeah. but in order to achieve this strategic goal you guide your child in a proper in a particular direction one of the thing is putting your child in a best school best school and now what are your criteria while selecting the school what are your criteria now you are the top manager you should give isn't it budget. tell me one is budget, budget sir very good annual uh, cost good no? education system good education okay teaching result of schools last previous years that's what teaching teaching is one criteria right teaching then their school performance how many students students they are getting uh, selected in higher yeah, all amounts. of them all of them you know okay that comes under teaching and number 3 can i say infrastructure infrastructure yeah, environment infrastructure okay infrastructure and environment very good and number 4 the safety in the school safety and transportation transportation safety. and then finally convenience transportation comes under convenience so five factors. first is cost of education second is teaching third one is safety fourth one is infrastructure environment and fifth one is convenience convenience so out of the five which is most important to you cost of education is most important cost yes or teaching is most important or safety is safety all five are equally important which is most important for you in while selecting a school for your child teaching teaching safety cost okay cost uh, all are equal weightage you are saying right yes, yes. all are equal weightage right so yeah, i will say on a, on a 10 point scale i will consider safety as 8 i consider teaching also 8 i will consider cost of education also 8 because you are saying all are equal for you isn't it so i get equal weightage now convenience convenience you know if the school is little far off still okay isn't it <laughs> School is you know one kilometer away, two kilometer away. You are still okay to drop your child every day and you know uh, uh, pick them back uh, in the evening. So convenience weightage is you know less. You gave eight for all the three, and now you are giving only five for the convenience. Is it okay for all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's called consensus method. All of you are agreeing, right? And likewise. you know some guidelines are created for the organization so four factors four criterias we have finalized weightage also we finalized what is the fifth one infrastructure infrastructure yeah. what kind of classrooms they have what kind of laboratories they have or the, the is the school having you know projector facility and all those things you are talking you know you are bringing under infrastructure what do you think the weightage on a 10 point scale it is also how much that is also weightage four four right four. okay so that means from your all your opinion what i understand is when you are admitting your child you give more preference you no know, to safety teaching and cost of education right yes sir the preference to convenience then last preference to perfect very simple so there are five criterias for selecting a project and how many schools you have in the nearby five high school now for each of the school depending on no the information available you have to assign score for each of the school all of you are able to follow me so far yes sir sir yes sir all right and then you know i will calculate something called weighted score i'll calculate something called weighted score and whichever school scores a high mark in the uh, what do you call the weightage weighted score i will consider that school as the you know place for my child so i'll show the same thing you know in the slides also so that you can uh, better understand yes Let me share the slides now. 